first half of the year reintroduced some serious volatility for investors. And in this video, we're going to discuss five key things you should watch for the remainder of the year 2018. Firstly, we have the G7 Summit. That takes place on June the 8th. And that is where the leaders of the world's largest seven economies come together to discuss the major issues that persist in today's global world. Firstly, on top of the agenda, you have the, uh, the uh, uncertainties within Syria, Israel, Palestine, as well as Ukraine. Also, top of the agenda would be US's decision to pull out of the Iran nuclear agreement, as well as the importance of the world trade, given talks of trade wars that have been going on uh, in the past few months. Number two, June the 12th, we had the US Federal Reserve meeting. Now, the Fed held interest rates steady at its previous meeting in May because of inflation fears, but it is widely expected to increase the rate on its June the 12th, 13 meeting. Whether or not the Fed will increase rates at its September 25th to 26th meeting depends on that key event on June the 12th. Thirdly, you have the Mexican national election on July the 1st. Now, the president, Nieto, is not standing for re-election. The country may swing further to the left. You have candidates like Mr. Lopez and his populist Morena party, which have pledged to battle Donald Trump especially on his policies about immigration and address the ongoing Trump wall, as well as political corruption, crime, and other social problems. Now, if Lopez wins the election, uh, a large US multinational companies that have invested heavily in Mexico may well be affected. Number four, on October the 18th, we have the Brexit Withdrawal Treaty. Now, that is a key event in the Brexit calendar as the UK transitions to, uh, to taking themselves outside of the European Union. Several key meetings do remain, although, but that one, a lot of investors will be looking on because that will, will basically tackle all the legal loose ends, and hopefully the UK government can look to finalize their agreement for exiting the European Union. Number five, the key US-North Korea summit. Now, following a historic summit between the leaders of North and South Korea in April, expectations were that President Trump and North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un would meet next month in Singapore. However, given recent events, that meeting is all up in the air. So at one point in May, it looked like the meeting was going to be pulled off, but now it looks like the possibility is back on track. So the, the update on that meeting is key, and whether or not it should happen or not would again be a major part for investors' trading decisions. Now, the bottom line is the fast pace and unpredictability of geopolitical and macroeconomic events make it really difficult for investors to forecast potential effects and to trade with a high degree of confidence. But being informed is what's going to make the difference, and hopefully this video has helped you into understanding these key events. Now, if you have any questions or want to discuss markets, or simply want to check us out, please, please feel free to look at the links below. Subscribe here and safe for trading.